Ryan. Today is Wild Card Wednesday, the day where I do a video that's short or fun or whatever the heck I want to do. So what I want to do today is I want to go over the blue driver and using this and the live data in or and a can of brake cleaner and a trick I learned from a deer in Dak, New York um, username. Anyway, between the two of these, we're going to find where the vacuum leak is on this vehicle. We've had codes P0171 and P0174. So we know we've got a vacuum leak, we're running too lean. Uh, I've done a little preliminary testing to make sure this would be a good video. And uh, here's what we're going to do. You can see the voltages on uh, the blue driver. I gotta apologize because I, when I did the review for this, I saw an older review back when they only gave you five free. They give you unlimited free ones now. So I just wanted to throw that in too and say, sorry guys, and uh, sorry to you and sorry to blue driver because I, I missed the ball on that one. Let me show you what happens on these field trim graphs when something goes lean. I'm gonna create a vacuum leak. We're gonna switch this over so that we can watch it go high and low. So when it's high, it's rich. When it's lean, it goes to a low number. So lean, low number, uh, rich, high number. So just lean, low, just remember that. So I'm gonna create a lean condition by unplugging a vacuum line. So we're lean, we're getting too much air, so we have a low number. So if you have a vacuum leak, your vehicle's gonna compensate for that in the long term. I just plugged it back in, you heard the hiss go away. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go around with a flammable liquid brake cleaner and we're going to plug up a lean condition with a rich, uh, you know, like we're basically adding fuel in through where the air's leaking in. So what that's going to do is it's going to cause our numbers to go high and then come back down to, now why is it fluctuating? How come it doesn't just, you know, show that it's perfect and stoichiometric balance? Well, that's a good question. Uh, your computer is set up so that it'll give a little, it'll throw a little bone, a little dog treat now and then, a little spike to your catalytic converter so that your catalytic converter has something to burn so that it stays hot enough. I mean, that's not ideally efficient. You don't want to be throwing fuel down the drain. Uh, but in this case, throwing a little fuel down the drain every so often gives the catalytic converter the fuel that it needs to get nice and hot. All right, so let's do this. We take a flashlight and I'll give you a tour of where we're going here. So typically on a 5.3 liter, where your vacuum leak's gonna be, and I've done a separate video on this and gone into great detail, but where, see where the fuel injector is and there's that high part of the intake manifold? Um, that is the spot where we're gonna be spraying. The natural radius is an eight cylinder, you've got four on each side. So that's where I'm gonna be doing this. So let me show you what it looks like um, with our little trick that we learned from Adir and Dak. So that sprays straight down. Now what happens, let me show you the value of this, in case you're missing it. If I take this and spray down like I want to, I get a really weak stream, it doesn't come out very good. If I'm tipped at this angle, good, bad. So what that does, is it allows me to spray straight down, so that when I'm going along the intake manifold like this, I can stick it right where I want it. Now why brake cleaner? Everybody else is using uh, propane. Well, because they're smarter than me, that's why. Propane's better, it's better for you, it's better for the environment, better for health, it's cheaper. Um, the reason why I use this is because it's, uh, I'm so freaking picky, that's why, it's OCD. Brake cleaner cleans off the crud that's around the gasket. If you look in there, there's a bunch of dirt and debris and yuck, and basically it cleans it so I can see where the leak is. You know, if you've got a humid condition or if the engine warms up, um, whatever, oil, dirt, whatever, has a lower viscosity and it allows the air through. This just get, get the heck out of my way. I want a clean surface to work with and it evaporates really quickly. Great cleaner, it gets rid of oils and all that kind of stuff for one, but it also evaporates really fast. That's why it's bad for you, but it's good because you can see specifically where the leak's coming from. You want to make sure that you have good spark plug wires and no ignition leaks when you're doing this. If you've got arcing spark plug stuff down here, don't even think about testing this method. That's just dumb. So what I do is I just peek it right over about where the injector is. I'm spraying on that one and I'm watching it stay too rich. It's not going down much, it's staying high. So when, and once it evaporates, you know, as time goes on, it goes back to normal now. So that's how we know that we have a leaking intake manifold gasket. 
on this 2003 5.3 liter Chevy pickup truck. I do hope you enjoyed my video. If you like tips like this, stay tuned. You can do so by clicking subscribe. Um, if I've earned your subscription, click that and uh, we'll get some more videos coming your way. I do new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Cheers.